Hello everybody, today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can complete the Silent Sneak Heist again. Now I know I did do a video on this a couple of days ago, uh, like a week or two ago, and it was alright. And I still think it was a good method, and if you do want to do it, do it. But I'm just going to be addressing the comments that people said, like, do it this way, uh, in that video. And lots of people were like, nah, you do the EMP way too early. So this video I'm going to be showing you a different place you can use the EMP. Personally, I think this is harder, but, I mean, they've done it this way. And before I get into the video again, I'd just like to say 99% of you aren't subscribed, and I'm really like, what? Uh, so here's a quick look at the planning board. All the green ticks are the setups I'd recommend. The security intel won't be able to play if you haven't done all six of the casino work uh, missions as the host. Um, patrol routes is like an extra bonus. And the ones that it says I purchased, I did the glitch so that I get all the optional preps are free. I'll put a card in the top so you know how to do that. Or like the top right corner, it should appear now-ish. So I'm just going to talk you through the whole heist again. If you haven't seen it before, then uh, basically I go through the staff lobby. I also exit through the staff lobby. You can enter through the waste disposal, but I don't know. I just sort of pick the staff lobby because I've never done the waste disposal before, but I'm not saying you can't do the waste disposal. So what you want to do, obviously, is just go to your car, depending on where your arcade is, uh, get in, drive straight to the casino, and once you get there, you'll... I don't know what I'm doing, because if I talk about the video now, I'm just going to be rambling. Uh, if I ramble now, then I can talk when we get there. So well, here we are. Uh, you walk into the casino, you go up to the door and you swipe. Don't worry about the cameras. As long as you don't stand in them, they won't see you. Uh, but even though cameras, if you walk through them, you have like a four second timer and it's a little bit quicker if you have a gun in your hand. So what you want to do, walk up, zap that, and then there'll be loads of different ways that enemies can spawn here. Uh, if you're doing it on elite, difficulty or whatever it is the harder difficulty uh, they'll spawn in different locations as well so I'll show you loads of different locations of where they can spawn and then I'll get back to the commentary Right, so once you've taken out the guys, that wasn't all of the ways because sometimes they didn't record and I don't know why, but basically there'll be a guy walking around the elevator bit here. Uh, when he walks that, uh, the way he just did, he'll come back round and go back the way he did. So what I usually do is get someone to open the door for the vault, which is what I'll do. Uh, careful though, because if your friend is standing by that door there, he might see you coming through the, coming around. Like that glass where the squares are is fine, but that door window is the bit he can see you through. When he comes around the corner, you just want someone to run out, smack him on the back of the head, no one will find him there, and then get that person to go in the vault. What you will then want to do is whilst they're taking money down out of the vault, you want to go to the stairs, use the keypad, and uh, go down the stairs. And there'll be a guy um, sort of just past these first stairs, and he'll be waiting to come up the second set. And what I do is now just wait at the bottom and see a shadow and then run out and hit him because sometimes I ran around too early and before he could even come up and there was no chance because he was seeing me. Again with the camera, you can run through it just quickly because you don't want to be detected. Uh, come out of the door, just go left. There should be two guards stood next to each other. You'll have enough time to run up and melee both of them, which is a bit weird, but same. I don't know. That's pretty much it. Uh, and then what you want to do is just wait for your teammate. Uh, but there will be a guy that comes from the left between one of these doors and then he'll come along the way that I'm running now or the other side if that makes sense, like it's random. Uh, so just wait back by the elevator, tell your friends to either be careful coming down the stairs or just wait until that guy's past the door so he can see that he's coming towards me now. And again, it can be the other side, so just be careful. Um, and then just run out and smack him. You might even be able to run through those double doors and smack him to the left if you're quick. But it's a bit risky because obviously you might get seen by the camera or, well, not the camera, but the guard, depending on which way he's looking, I'm not really sure. Um, but you just want to run through here. It's pretty easy, actually, because you just take out one guy that can see you. The rest won't see you if you just hug the left. I think sometimes as well that that guy in the middle won't even be facing that way. I've sped up a little bit here because my friend is taking a sweet time. And here we go. We go into the vault. 
And uh, I'll get back to you guys again once we get to the vault. Just quickly, you can see here that I'm walking straight through that guy's cone because it's the same kind of glass as it upstairs, so he won't be able to see me through that window, so just keep that in mind. Another method for the drill though is uh, hold R2, let it go all the way to the top. It, not overheat though, and then let it go all the way to the bottom. And then back up, back down, back up, back down, rather than tap, 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 tap. Here you can see that I'm just sprinting and jumping, but if you really want to get the elite challenge done in that bit and you want to save as much time as possible, I recommend going first person and doing the same jump and sprint thing because you'll go so much faster. Uh, it's actually pretty unbelievable how fast it is. But here you can see the drilling method I was talking about. You just let it go all the way to the top into about the yellow. Maybe if you want to be a bit risky, go a bit into the white, but if it overheats, you're going to waste some time. But just let it go all the way up and then all the way back down to the bottom because it's, again, like I said, better than the tap, 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 tap method because sometimes you can go through one disc easily and then some discs, sometimes you can go through one and a half discs easily. Now, I'm going to get back to you again after the vault method, but if you're struggling with how to do the fingerprint hack, I recommend looking up on Google search uh, like GTA Casino Heist fingerprints hack or something, cheat sheet, and it will come up with a picture of the fingerprints and then it will show you which things you need to click, uh, so which squares go with which fingerprint if that makes sense. So if you're really struggling I'd recommend doing that and having a look at what the fingerprints match up with and then you should get your time down to pretty quickly. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to skip fast forward through the vault and then I'll talk to you guys again when we come out of the vault. Alright, so once you've left the man trap now, you just want to go to your phone, go to the bottom right and activate the EMP as you're walking out. What this will do is it will just send the building into darkness and for me, right, so this is probably going to cause some questions in the comment section, well how do I have night vision? And it's because I did the infiltration suit setup and that's because I did the glitch. Uh, you don't have to do this and if you don't, it'll be complete darkness, but just use your minimap and try and work your way around where you're going. It's still not as easy, but... I mean, it saves you time doing the setup, and that's the glitch I talked about at the beginning of the video. So if you haven't clicked that card already and you don't know what I'm talking about, go back to the beginning of the video and click the card. Um, and I know someone commented saying in the last video that you failed the Elite Challenge, the guy can't be that good. I mean, yeah, I died, but I was just trying to get the perfect clips, right? So uh, hopefully that stops those comments. Basically, you just want to see what I did there and just run back into the room, uh, the security room. I took out the guy at the back as my friend ran in after me and took out the guy at the front. So I was hoping that obviously you didn't get detected, and you didn't, so you might as well try that as well. And then you just want to make your way through the front door, and then through the zappy electric security beepers again, and then you want to exit. Um, so when you come out, you'll be around here, and there'll be guards to the right. And usually on Silent and Sneaky, they detect you from a pretty decent range, which sucks. But you just shoot these guys, and then you shouldn't have to worry about anyone else if you follow this route. Now, we will be doing the helicopter method again, so again, just follow as I'm going and then you'll, have, you'll get to the helicopter and then the rest of the gameplay should explain itself. But now that the talking is done, I'd like to... Well, actually, no, I'd like to keep talking, but talk about something other than the video, and that is that thank you for 3,000 subscribers. Uh, I'm doing a giveaway again on Twitter for another 1.52 million... 1.52? No, 1.25 million shark card on Twitter. Um, the link will be in the description so if you want to enter that giveaway go over on twitter follow me and retweet the pin tweet in my bio uh, uh or not bio but profile and yeah uh, i don't know i didn't actually think i'll even get you know thousand subscribers and to get three thousand this year is actually quite insane to me and i think i just want to thank everyone uh but if we can keep growing you know try and get that 99 percent to maybe i don't know 98 percent that'd be sick uh so thank you all for watching and follow the rest of the gameplay hopefully this guy's helped you as well and i'm sorry that i keep uploading it but i'm hoping this is the last silent sneaky guide that i'm gonna do because i don't want to keep doing them uh uh yeah thank you and uh, bye